your first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Brad Travis. Yeah, we'll finally get a break in the heat and the humidity as we go into the weekend. There's a front coming in, but we have more rounds of thunderstorms before that front actually makes it in here. And that'll be Friday night into Saturday morning. Uh, ominous clouds out there, a lot of low lying clouds. We've had some tornado lookalike clouds. In fact, I had a really impressive one from Flat Rock over in Jackson County. I posted that on my Facebook page and you can see why it's a definitely a scary looking cloud out there. Storm moving on the east side of Huntsville now. Still a lot of lightning and thunder, but this one is down from where it was earlier as it intensified over the Harvest Monrovia area and then pretty much started to weaken just a bit. At least that's what it's doing now uh, from Maysville and southeast side of Huntsville out towards uh, Owens Crossroads, Hampton Cove. You can see it's probably going to pass north of Owens Crossroads. You will get a cool breeze out of this thunderstorm. We had peace size hail here at the station, but just down the road, uh, they did have reports of near dime size hail from this. Also dime size hail out there towards harvest and in East Limestone with that storm. Uh, severe thunderstorm warning. They expired that over here in Fort Payne. Just some heavy rain and by the way, this is some needed rain over here in parts of DeKalb County. Uh, some places would rather do without, but some areas uh, do need the rain out there. Very intense lightning. The lightning's picking up here as you get south of the Honeycomb Campground here north of Lake Gunner, actually northeast of uh, that area off High 431, just south of Grant. This storm moving into Gurley, causing problems out there driving around, that's for sure. But this storm is moving into the rain-cooled air towards Scottsboro, so I don't anticipate it to maintain its intensity as it moves in that direction. Madison, you're just going to get a cool breeze. It looks like out of the storm, but one of the things we'll have to watch is this outflow boundary uh, that's out there it will likely uh, lead to a few more storms and that could develop over the next 30 minutes. Nothing showing up on radar that's concerning as far as the velocity goes. We're going to fast forward to about 10 o'clock tonight. Still a few showers and storms possible out there, but then we get another round early in the morning. This doesn't appear to be severe, but it will have a lot of heavy rain and again, just add insult to injury for for the morning commute out there. Notice uh, nothing really going on from Russellville to Phil Campbell down towards Smith Lake and Coleman, but that will all change as we go into Friday afternoon. Rock the South, these storms will threaten late tomorrow afternoon and evening down there, and then you may have to deal with just some rain as it rains itself out, some of that residual lightning, uh, kind of like we saw with the last big storm system that came through, those rumbles of thunder that continue on well past the intense part of the storms. So 70% chance tomorrow, two rounds of storms. Saturday, I've dropped the chance of rain because most of that will be gone by the time you wake up. But if you headed down to Birmingham, may run into a few showers early in the day. And our next chance comes back Tuesday. We get more of a normal weather pattern. And I went through a, a tutorial basically describing why the weather is the way it is. You can find that on, on my Facebook page, and I believe we'll be posting that on the station WFF YouTube page as well. You'll find more information there as well. Here's your 10-day forecast. 80s tomorrow due to the rain-cooled air, and what a beautiful weekend ahead. Enjoy.